This is a circus without elephants, lion tamers, or even clowns. Instead, Circus Harmony uses circus arts to cultivate personal growth and encourage social change. We do it by building character in individuals and building bridges between communities. We help young people defy gravity, soar with confidence, and leap over social barriers all at the same time. It's been amazing. We've been like traveling and meeting new people and making like good friendships, and it's just really a family here. It's nice. Their dedication to teaching the art of life through circus education recently won them the Missouri Arts Awards Arts Education Award. While our young people are learning to flip, fly, and fling, they also learn important life skills like focus, persistence, and teamwork. But for circus arts to be recognized as arts education, that's really exciting. You can just be yourself and you can kind of show off what the human body can do, what you as a person like have learned. I've seen myself get braver to try new things and I've seen myself be less anxious being in front of people. Even if you mess up, the audience will still find it cool. Things that you think you can't do, you can accomplish at circus. I was afraid of heights before circus, but being an acrobat really helped overcome that fear. Success in this circus is so much more than acrobatics. While we have become one of the top pre-professional circus schools in America, we are first and foremost a social circus. So what's most important to us is that we build character in individuals and build bridges between communities. A lot of kids come here and they think they're just learning to flip or to juggle, but they're learning life skills that they'll be able to use whatever they do. Some life lessons I've learned is teamwork and cooperation. Like to us, it doesn't matter who you are, what you are. We have a common language of circus, and I think we can show the community how to come together. One of the ways Circus Harmony exemplifies bringing diverse communities together is peace through pyramids. When we first became a nonprofit in 2001, we did a partnership between children from a Muslim school on Grand Avenue and children from Central Reform Congregation, a Jewish temple um, in the Central West End, and brought them together and taught them circus and created a show. Then in 2007, we did our first actual Peace Through Pyramids partnership with a Jewish Arab youth circus in Israel. And we did that for over a decade. It's the last time we were in Israel in 2014. Four days after we got back, Ferguson literally exploded. So our response was to start Peace Through Pyramids Ferguson. And now we have a master Peace Through Pyramids program with children from all different schools and places. And then they come here, put on a show, and show the world what can happen when you focus on what connects you instead of what divides you. I feel in today's world, everybody is focused on what divides them. You know, I'm black and you're white. I come from struggle and you come from, you know, an easy life. And that's what divides us. And when you bring it to the classroom and you say, okay, now I understand the differences that we all share. We put those aside and we just work on what connects us. And just to see all the kids embrace each other's differences, embrace their likenesses as well, was just something that, it was amazing. As we present Circus Harmony's internationally renowned Blind Children, the St. Louis Arches! The highest level in Circus Harmony is the St. Louis Arches, and when you achieve that, you have to have a certain amount of community service hours, and I think it's really great because it gives you a form of community, and you're not just a good performer, but just an overall good person. Today, Circus Harmony serves over 1,400 students a year, from classes to camps to off-site programs, and audiences are absolutely amazed to see how powerful and capable these performers are. People hear, oh, circus, kids, cartwheels, cotton candy. No, the skills that they are presenting in the ring are absolutely high-level professional skills. Even if performers don't intend to have a career in the circus, this program provides a strong foundation. It has established good morals in you, like communication and um, leadership and friendship and community 
and self-discipline and such. So it will really help you in the future, no matter where you want to go. In the future, I want to become a dermatologist. I actually aspire to be a teacher. Teaching here at Circus Harmony has brought that out of me. And if they do choose to become a professional performer, they are sure to soar to new heights in no time. I'd like to go to Circus College in Montreal and then go on to professional circus and hopefully something like Cirque du Soleil. But no matter what they choose. I think the best part of being a member in the circus is being like a family and it's just a good place, a safe place where you can come and really get stuff done.